So authentic curriculum at Altafti is based around the students and the parents and the learning advisor coming up with a plan that matches the goals that those students have each year. Uh, it's negotiated in a meeting and they set out the priorities, the things they'd like to achieve that year, and then more specifically on the things which in the next term they'll target. So it might be the classes that they engage with, the individual projects they'll um, undertake themselves and potentially work uh, that they may do outside of school through other agencies or, or individually. Enabling factors or uh, things that enable that to happen uh, in our context is that we have a special character, a designated special character for which um, students are at the centre of their learning and they are at the centre of their learning so that their passion and love of learning is retained. At Hagley, our authentic learning uh, looks uh, tailor-made for the students that we get. Our, our student community is a mixture of adults and adolescents and they all come with different learning histories and different learning outcomes um, that they require. So our programs look individual for those particular people. We're trying, in, within practical design, we try to create environments or communities where age and experience are helping each other to move forward. In my program, we have a system of goal setting. So each student is on an individual program, although uh, the, all of our learning is project based. Within that project, there is room for students to take that as far as they wish to, and that's monitored by myself. We do goal setting sessions regularly to see how they're going on that and where they want to go. As the year progresses, we then edit the uh, assessments that they might want to do in order to get the outcome that they're hoping for. We have a process for um, allowing off site learning. We believe that learning should occur where it best occurs and that's often not inside the physical environment of the school so we have some structures to negotiate with the parents and the students where uh, learning should occur outside um, the process to allow that to happen and make sure that it, it uh, can happen and that the students are safe and that the outcomes will be good. The impact that these processes or structures have had on students learning is that the students feel much more empowered and have a much greater responsibility for their learning. So it's developed not only uh, the development of skills and knowledge based around the curriculum or outside of the curriculum, but it's also helped them to examine themselves as a learner and to find out and challenge themselves about what is of value for them. What are their strengths? Where do they need to develop? And those things are, are found out or decided by the individual. So it's not an imposed set of you've done very well, that's excellent, you've uh, become an amazing student. It's them challenging what am I interested in? Where do I fit in? What skills do I naturally seem to possess? what things do I need to develop and why. Um, so some students will be slow in that journey. They, uh, they will be in a, in a place where they still want to please others and then slowly come around to the realisation that for them to explore themselves as a learner, what they really want is what's most important because then the motivation's there and the, the sense of achievement the sense of value and pride um, that they gain is, is such a motivating factor and contributes so much to the sense of their own well-being that it's, uh, it's like a drug, it's a stimulant, it just keeps them going. So um, the love of learning is retained.